movable in case anything wanted to attack people from below. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, I remember so briefly if you. I ain't saying where they are, but. Because I have, have friends everywhere and all that, but. If you go in straight, there's like a double door, and you go to the right, there's a. Excuse me, a living room. And, you, and sit, if you go to the left from the doorway, there's. I think two offices there, one office. It says it's been a while, but if you go. If you go left of it, then straight. There's a big old kitchen. Then you go uh, left. There's a garage, which is really fucking huge. The guy, a friend of mine, owns a crap ton of of uh, was it huge? Not huge. Uh, full vintage cars. So the ones that like he drove when he was young. From the doorway, you go left of, or right a bit, and up the stairs. You go. No, wait, 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 let me scratch that. In the bat, in the kitchen, there's also a bathroom off to the side by the garage. I was saying, you go left a t right a tiny bit and up the stairs. You go all the way up the stairs and to the right is the master bedroom. If you go forward, left, and then f straight, a bathroom. If you go all the way left, there's like all the way left, there's a guest bedroom. You go all the way left and then r Left again. Someone's bedroom. Then we go through either one of those. It is a man cave, sort of. Really nice area. I love that house. Like I, my dad and me and some other, well, me and my dad and someone else, like family, have actually helped build that house a bit. Like very much, they got me to carry lumber, which helped. A lot of the time, my dad just likes it just when I help him, just because like I said I've been around him so much. I know how he gets when he gets pissed off. Oh, here, diabetes. <coughs> There's a lot of cool houses I love to rebuild as I lived in. I remember some of them, Bailey. Some of them I remember really, really, really well. Like, you know, one of the ones that houses the first one I talked about. We had a shed in the back, and I had a go car that my dad built for me personally. One night, some little fucking assholes breaking in the we're going to our backyard, breaking into the shed, take the go kart. Dad comes out in just his underwear, sees him, and runs down the fucking street with nothing on. And says, "What the fuck are you doing, little assholes?" Gives him shit, and then I think I can't remember if he reported him to the police or not, but he did something. Also, uh, the first house I lived in, like, like maybe a year or two before I moved, there's two dogs. Uh, oh, I have to remember this. One was a Rottweiler. I remember that much. The other was a German Shepherd. We had a little. We used to have a little Shishu Bijon Krolls. Best dog ever. She thought she was ten feet tall and could take on anything. One night, like, a, well, and, and we had an elderly. elderly Elderly neighbor, geez, I can talk. Elderly neighbor across from us, who came over base at me a lot of the times. Really fun person. She smoked like a chimney, and all that. But came over, we always had fun. And when we were coming over one night, some fucking dogs came and tried to attack us. So we pretty much before she could get hurt, I tried to push her inside, and I. I had a pellet gun at the time, because it was a different time. I said, those dogs come anyone here again. I'm going to, well, I'm going to shoot them. Like, I wouldn't do that, but I just, I was just afraid. And I was trying to say anything to make that elderly neighbor who's a, my baby's here and all that at the time feel safe. I'm like 10 or 11 at this time, so. I try to make her feel safe and just protect her and her little dog and everything else. My mom and dad were at a, I think my mom's or my dad's Christmas party. Because my dad, he worked for, uh, uh, Jesus Christ, an oil company, I think at the time. And my mom, she worked for some company. 
Huh. So there's that. So it was one of those two Christmas parties where I think they had to go into the like the big big city. They think my base here called them saying, "Okay, this happened and all that." They came home. Because back in the day when you were like ten or eleven, you could act, or nine to nine to eleven, you could actually have your first gun, which is usually a Pelican. Then you worked up to a twenty-two and so on. I said the most I got to was a twenty-two because I, well, I said, don't really like shooting that much, like shooting, like going out hunting and all that. Let's see what else. Uh, I'm trying to think. Sure. I came back and said, everything okay? My, my mom asked that and she said, yeah, everything's okay. Then a bit late, I think the next day or two, we had, there's a big tall neighbor across the street from us. They came in, took him down. Like, like they didn't hurt him or anything. Well, they hurt him a bit, but it's because they took his legs right, right, right from under him and he fell on the cement during the winter. And my dad, this sort of ties into the story. My dad made, this was a joke because he always, he's from the time where he make really weird jokes. And he had made a beating stick, which was just, he never used it. It was just a joke to sort of say, okay, if everything bad happens, you're going to get this. And it was just a long pulley you'd use for any for to attach like a shovel or something. That had me and two other kids' names on, who were little shits. And pretty much when the dolls came out, my mom like they came out again. I heard they attacked the neighbor, and my mom took the stick out and took me to the bus to go to school. She called the cops and said these dogs are doing that. The the. Police comes and picks dogs up, and the dogs are all well hidden in the back. And it's like the police officer was really fucking condescending. Said, "You need dogs in here tagging everybody." Mom said, "Yes, they are, you bitch." She could have, I couldn't. No, no. So there's that. Never heard from the dogs again, which is good. They could have stayed in the pound. Could have got used knives. I don't know. It's really hard to say. I see another thing up in the house where I was living at. Uh, let's see. I went to, like, I don't mind saying this because it was a long ago and far away. I went to a French immersion school, I think is what it was called. Well, hey, this was really close when we were about to move back to where my dad is now. And, uh... I missed the bus because some asshole was trying to keep me away from the bus, so that pissed me off. So instead of, like, the teachers, like, because I hate that fucking school. They treat me like shit. And so I started walking home. They said, come on. I'm like, no. The one thing I regret, I, the, the first American school is close to one of our friend's places. Why for the love of me, I don't, didn't think to go there. I do not know. But they call my mom saying, yeah, your son is, he's. We try to get him to come back because he missed the bus, and it's. He's not really taking anything. Like, uh. Nah, he's not taking. He's not letting us help him. I think my mom started doing that point, like, yeah, he really doesn't like the school. So, she came and got me, and I told her what happened. And he said, nope. Okay, so why the. He's like, why the fuck did you do that? Like, and I told her, like, I don't like the school. I never did. And she, like, shit. And she's treating like I'm stupid as well. And there goes her dad. <clears throat> she says, okay, but I said this like maybe a month, not even a month probably before we moved. No. Yeah, well, like a month, month to uh, three months before we moved. So there's that. After that, it just sort of, eh. Went along and all that. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Uh, oh God. Uh, Jesus. Uh, God, Dad doesn't curse. I hate when I get burps. Somebody get me out of here. 
Then, oh yeah, this, uh, there's a school like, if I remember from where I house lived, there's one, two, three houses down, and there's a school. That went from kindergarten to grade four. I remember this very vividly. The principal there, he was a fucking asshole. He said this to a lot of parents. Because he really sucked. He even said to my parents, my mom and dad wanted to kill him. They wouldn't, they didn't do it. It's like, you know, the, uh, how can I explain this? You know when uh, someone talks really bad about the kid and is like, just putting him down, making him feel like complete shit? And the parents said, I want to kill you. Like, just uh, in the way is like, I want to get my kid out of here as fast as I can because you are a horrible person. You should not be here. It was like that sort of thing. Well, he said this, the principal said this in, to my parents and a lot of other parents. I give up. Your kid's unteachable. And like grade three or four saying your kid's unfucking teachable. He, or, you know, he can't be taught. He should just give up. So, think about that. Saying, like, your kid's unteachable. You should just give up. I don't think so, Dad. So, why is that? That's just. Way, just to die, Coon and that's just stupid. Coon and Pretty much, and say, like, oh, you can go to this school. It'll be the same type of principal. You can go to the French Emergency it's School where it's a bit more funding and all that. Yeah, you hear that you They're not as bad. So, I went to there. We need each other. Don't you get it? I create the crime and you stomp it out. I am good for You're probably thinking, Jesus Christ, what the hell happened to you? A lot of weird stuff. Yep. I had no choice but to have my own new kid built. What have you done, Eric? <sighs> How do you stop a coon friend? By creating a massive, genetically altered coon friend mm. in that hero's DNA. What? Oh, dude, that's so fucking Yeah, uh, let's see what else. Really? You're just going to fight a superhero by creating a big genetic mutant? Uh, <sighs> one friend I used to have, like, he's a fucking <laughs> asshole, still is. No, no, well, example, I, I give you an example right? where you're probably saying, Oh, how are you an asshole? My own dad bought me a... For either Christmas or my birthday or something like that. Bought me a brand new, like, a BMX bike and all that. That I loved riding. I took it over to show it to my friend. I'm doing quotations right now. Oh, God. Now, Cousin Kyle! He said, oh, that's cool. Like, oh, give me your bike or whatever. So I can ride. Didn't give it back to my answer a whole bunch of stupid fucking questions. I told my mom and he said, okay, you're not going to see the little fucker anymore. I never did. His mom is also a slut. Everyone's like, oh, that's mean. No, 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 no. She is a slut. I know this. Do you want to know why? I'm not going to say the names. She broke up a marriage. Like, Everyone's like, really? Yes, she did break up a marriage. She, if I remember right, this guy, he was married. And he was, she met, met this other guy and said, oh, I have... Yeah, it's sort of started making googly eyes at her. And they start fooling around. The wife called my mom because we were friends with them. I think they didn't live out in BC or somewhere. And it's. He said, Don't lie to me. Like, just, I'm not going to say it. Like, like, so my mom, don't lie to me. Is my husband screwing around? He's like, uh, For a couple of seconds, my mom's like, Yes, he's screwing around with you. I'm sorry. Tell her, and then I think they got a divorce. So, there's that. They were friends with them, but uh, my mom didn't tell the person we called Slutty. Mm. So, I said Slutty, man, yeah, that means I'm not going to say the name. Don't think we ever knew that we told her. Told the wife that she needed to screw it around. Her son was a little shit. Her daughter was a, a fucking prima donna. Or diva or whatever it was. You got this, but I'm trying to think what else. There's another friend who... Oh, very... Uh, the fucking boy. Like, he was a spoiled little asshole. They say, no, my one dish and one dish and one dish and one this. Like, okay. The thing is... How was it? He never said please or thank you. This is the one thing. If I didn't say please or thank you, my mom and dad would slap me. Slap me, like, not literally, but it was be like, if you don't say please or thank you or do what we sort of taught you, you're going to be in trouble. And that's why they grill, grill, drill into my head. You always got to say please and thank you. No matter what, if you don't like it, you say thank you. 
If you want more, you always gotta say please. Just always say please and thank you and excuse me. Oh, yeah. I know I'll never be the same. Shook my world so hard again. Wish I washed away my sins.